you believe there's a man named Noah like in the Bible? Noah, born over 2,700 years BC, was a shipbuilder and a prophet of the century. Oh, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Many think of Noah and the Ark as a story from the past, but did you know that according to Jesus, the events surrounding the life of Noah are directly related to you? Jesus said, as in the days of Noah, so shall it be with the coming of the Son of Man. In other words, the things that happened in Noah's day will be similar to the things that are going to happen during the time referred to in the Bible as the end of the age. In a moment, you're going to see clearly that the end of the age is happening now. Please, Spock, do me a favor and don't say it's fascinating. No, but it is interesting. But of all the signs, the one prevalent thing that happened in Noah's day was that people who knew right from wrong chose to ignore Noah's warning of God's coming judgment, such as the way of the 21st century. The scriptures call Noah a preacher of righteousness. His life was prophetic in that the ark was a type of the then coming Christ. And we, like Noah, are preachers of righteousness, warning every man, calling a corrupt world to repentance and faith in Jesus, and telling them to be ready for his coming, of which no man knows the hour nor the day. Here are 10 major biblical signs for which we are to look. The scriptures tell us there'll be money hungry Bible teachers who would slur the Christian faith and deceive many. By covetousness, they will exploit you with deceptive words. Yeah, name it and claim it, health and wealth. You got it right, baby, you got it right. Lord, let this anointing and power flow through our sister now. I want you to know something, I am a prophet of God. I'll never be broke another day in my life. <laughs> Say it again. I want you to make me a cake today. A hundred dollars. What happened to the pay? It's gone. Just shake off that worry. Shake off that sickness. A vow of faith has got to take faith. That's why I say a thousand dollars. People like those um, TV ministries. Who would slur the Christian faith and deceive lie the devil I shouldn't have said that the second sign we're looking at is found in Matthew chapter 24 and there will be famines pestilences and earthquakes in various places and there will be famines pestilences and earthquakes in various places Sign number three, the moon will become blood red. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Last days, blasphemy will become commonplace. Do you go to R-rated movies? Of course. It's the only kind of movies I watch. Have you been to R-rated movies? I've been to X-rated movies. Do you notice how they use the name of Jesus in blasphemy in movies? Of course. Why don't they use the name of Muhammad in a movie to cuss? Well, I don't, I don't talk about religion over interviews. Can you think of anyone in history, a famous person like Napoleon or Shakespeare or Hitler, who had their name used as a cuss word? Can you think of anyone? Not at this moment, no. Only Jesus Christ. Why would they use his name as a cuss word? I don't know, it's a really good question, because I do I I am guilty of that myself. Martin Scorsese's award-winning movie, The Wolf of Wall Street, received unusual international publicity. The feature film starring Leonardo DiCaprio broke the world record for its liberal use of expletives. The F word was used an average of every 21 seconds. 
506 times. The S word, 70 times. God's name was blasphemed 28 times. Do you think Muslims would allow Hollywood to use their prophet's name as a cuss word? Jesus. Agreed. Another sign of the end of the age is an increase in acceptance of homosexuality. Ooh, I quiver with fear. As there was in the days of Sodom. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. <laughs>